what's good it's music day cuckoo series episode 351 or two i forget um hey we're just watching right now the 44th floor he's been doing these like breakdowns of his samples on instagram live and like just like leaving them up i just been watching the back like get inspired right now like yeah shout out to him he's fire like if you know i like, you watch my video they'll use like his one shot kid a whole bunch so yeah we're getting inspired right now and then we're gonna cook up some shit so i don't really have a plan for dicks after the fact we're gonna cook up a fire ass sample Maybe it would be like another like making melodies with one shots video or some shit. So yeah, let's get into it. Comment, like, subscribe, music, let's go. Where do we want to start? Um, what kind of beat do I have? I don't even know. Go to Felicia or Bell. So those are just like our bass notes, I think. If I'm like looking at this right. Maybe a little strum. A little rattleization. A little bell. Tight. I like. Just like a, another one of those uh, do to baby type shit. It's just like simple, chill guitar, like emotional. So this might actually have to be like more like the baby type beat or something. I've been preaching simplicity for probably almost a fucking year at this point, like. I'm finally getting the hang of it. I think this is simple but good. I think one of the keys to it is something I do a lot and you'll see a lot of good songs do. It's just there's a ton of repetition. So much fucking repetition but with like movement underneath it. Because like everything in music is like it's like psychology. It's like you need a little bit of chaos mixed with a little bit of order. Chaos and order. It's a battle between chaos and order. Music is helping you like understand like the world and your mind stuff and like your mind. Just remember that like when you, like when you see on like Twitter when people like Cody and like Taz Terrace are talking like how like they're just like a hit factory. There's a reason like they like it's like a science to it. They're like a fact. They just know the science to it. Like there really is a science to music. Like obviously you want to be like creative and stuff, but like it's creative within like a certain means. Like there's literally like math and science that. This math that determines why these notes go together. And like, okay, they're this many, this far apart, these frequencies make this emotion. Like, there's a reason why things go together. Like, that's why, like, people like Mozart or whoever, like, they would, like, write a symphony based on, like, what's it called? Like, uh, the Fibonacci sequence or something. Like, there's all these things in nature and science and things and math and, like, music that all go together. And then also just, like, the psychology of, like, oh, we like something that we can sort of expect, like, at, 
like like oh like basically just giving your brain ear like your ear brain candy and shit and like oh i know this part's coming maybe switch it up like like that's why like repetition 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 slight change repetition, like like your brain likes that like knowing where it's at but then maybe like a little tension and then coming back and resolving like yeah they're just simple like it's, it's just a mind game and just a little dance with a little dance with the brain <laughs> so much space so like an artist could go crazy on this they could do any melody they want on here especially because it's slow simple and emotional i was thinking for a really long time of what i want to do let's go to factor act I want to get a little like bounce with this tremor later. Oh no, I hate this. Ah. The fact track is doing the thing where it just fucks up. All right, I gotta pause. I gotta. Uh, I gotta reset my computer so the fact track works. We'll be back. Fact track. Back in action. Our fact track is working now. So we got a nice little tremolo later on one fourth note. Just brought down the depth a little bit, but it's definitely on there. Ambience at the end there. Backtrack. Right there, we'll bounce that out. We'll see how it sounds. We put it down like a half step or whatever, a whole step, whatever, like a hundred cents. Uh, and uh, yeah, then we'll throw some jumps on it. Let's do it. We got simple hi hats on here. Now we've just been pretty simplicity on everything. Get a little bounce on them, shifty, get them to the size of the cells.
saying on my videos so just like a clap an accident snare like one perk a hi-hat open hat uh 808 a kick like one two three four five six seven like drum sounds like just one of each category basically and i think it sounds good <laughs> little things on the high hats just very subtle simple and subtle that again just another lesson in simplicity just a bunch of simple things builds up on top of each other to make a nice chill simple beat has space for an artist to like go crazy on just like sets a vibe sets a balance like sets an energy like a like an emotional energy and says a, like a, a melodic energy and a balance and shit blah 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 um yeah simplicity simplicity i've been preaching for a while and like i'm finally figuring out how to put it into practice well so i hope i'm kind of showing you guys how to as well so hope you guys like today's video appreciate up here appreciate you watching comment like subscribe it's me and nick cooking series episode 351 and yeah until next time peace